I consider every day somehow survived as an achievement. Because everything around us is basically, to some capacity, toxic. I mean, what is this? Are you trying to kill me? Apple seeds contain cyanide. Raw almonds, cyanide. Cherry pits, cyanide. Old potatoes, if they have a green tint, solanide actually. But 48% of all berries, lethal. 77% of flowers, poisonous. BS your mom be saying about my broccoli casserole recipe on Facebook, toxic. Granted, a human would need to chew up and eat a lot of these seeds mentioned for the dosage to be lethal, which would be quite hard considering how bitter they are. There's a reason behind that. Seeds are basically the way these plants reproduce. There's no logic in making them edible. I mean, if your ugly kid was any tastier, this would be the end of your lineage, right? So seeds that are poisonous and toxins in general are bitter. And animals actually evolved to find bitter tastes unpleasant. We don't like the taste because we know it could kill us. So scotch enthusiasts will die off fairly quickly, I predict. It's interesting to note that those taste receptors responsible for bitter are much more developed than herbivores. Carnivores don't really deal with that many poisonous meats and they know they are are not edible for a different reason and we'll get to that in a second. But now you know why your dog sometimes eats baby wipes like finally some good food around here. Still, fruit plants rely on animals. They are tasty so animals will want to eat the fruit and poop out the genetic material someplace new and cool. And they can't since fruit seeds have a protective coat that prevents both the animal from being poisoned and the seed from being digested. Unless you're keen on thoroughly chewing every seed, you'll be fine. Stupid bird. However, it's not only fruit plants that are in danger of being eaten. How do the other guys survive? They can't really move or hold a knife to defend themselves. Except they can. In some plants, tens of tiny knives in the form of thorns and millions of even tinier toxin-coated knives in the form of hairs. Besides these, thousands of plant species can produce cyanide. They don't contain it, but have chemicals and enzymes that when mixed either in them or in the animal's digestive tract produce the deadly poison. Some plants are so dangerous in the way they can poison us by poisoning our food. Like the white snake root which causes something known as milk sickness. Cows will accidentally eat this plant and the deadly toxin in it called tremetol will be present in the milk they produce and whoever drinks that milk will be poisoned as well. Yeah, for humans many foods we eat today are dangerous to have unprocessed. So much for being at the top of the food chain when the majority of plant and animal life can't be eaten. It's not just plants that can be poisonous and we already learned that carnivores don't really recognize poison by taste that well. For meat eaters, nature will make it abundantly clear every time that it does not want to be eaten. How? By spelling it out to you in color. Usually with animals we think if it's a bright color it's poisonous but that's not actually true. It's not the vibrancy of the color. It's the contrast between the different colors. In the majority of cases, there is a black and white for the other color to be a contrast against. For example, red-eyed tree frogs are quite vibrant, but not aggressive or poisonous. Add a little black to the mixture, it's now a poison dart frog. This is a garibaldi fish. It's the definition of a goldfish cracker, and overall it is illegal to eat it. It's safe too and you can, but add a little white. The clownfish, extremely poisonous. So we accept that red equals poisonous, but really it's red against black or white that's actually poisonous. Oh, black and white together also count by the way. But you'd think there are plenty of venomous animals that don't use colors. That's because aposematism does not send the I am a very dangerous little guy signal. It sends more of a please don't eat me, I am small but very poisonous signal. Well, these guys are mostly predators. It's more beneficial for them to blend with their environment so they can hunt. Now, I had a big question while doing all the reading. What is the most poisonous color? We usually associate green with poisonous in popular media. It's always the green vial and it's true, but it's simply because Green is the majority of plants. Green is how they feed. If we go back to the berries, only 10% of white and yellow berries are edible. And that surprisingly stands true for most white flowers and fruits. So for plants, it would be white. And purely by the amount of toxin needed to kill a man, blue wins in the animal kingdom. So stay away from blue and don't eat anything white because, you know, every mushroom is edible, but some are only edible once. Better stick to bread and bananas. Okay, bye.